Uh, well, guys, please uh, may I have your attention? Uh, we are going to start with IELTS reading section one. We have uh, an academic reading test, and those of you who are gender training, once you do this test, uh, after that, when you take gender training reading test, you will find that easier. You will thank God, right? So uh, questions are same in academic as well as gender training reading but only the passages are different so there is no difference in questions we got true false not given multiple choice this and that and all that uh, passages are different in gender training the passages are simple like some brochures leaflets information thing right you join a club or you join any uh, gym or anything like that uh, whereas in academic, the passages are uh, so based on science, technology, research, innovation, this and that. Okay. Now, uh, IELTS reading part one is very important and it can give you a very nice foundation if you try and get all correct answers and you should target. In part one, mostly you get three type of questions. The first type, it can be true, false, not given. The second type, it can be completion type of sentences. Sentence completion, table completion, right? And the third type is short answer question. So these are the three question type where, uh, where in part one, you can easily try and achieve 13 out of 13. Because in part one, there are 13 questions. So your target, first target should be that at least in part one, you should not do any mistake, right? Now, how to make sure that you don't do any mistake? That's what we are going to discuss. And in, in this class, in this session, I'm going to tell you all about that. Remember, whenever you read the question, you have to read it very, very carefully. And you have to think about all the possibilities because uh, your success depends on reading and understanding the question. If you are not clear about question, you will go to the passage without a purpose, right? You'll move around here and there and at the end, it's very, very common among the students that when they get frustrated, then they write any answer. They want to get rid of that frustration. You can't take it for a long time. Just imagine you want, you're looking for something and you don't find it, the type of feeling you have, but there, you can easily see like today one student called me and he said I'm not satisfied with my reading reading and listening score and he said they gave me uh, six uh, five on uh, a six band they gave me six band but whenever I took practice test I had 36 correct answers 35 correct answers and all that and then I said how do you know that they gave you six band and this is not justified he said I am hundred percent sure about my answers so the traps are there and traps give you 100% feeling that your answer is correct. Well done, keep it up, right? So you should avoid the traps, read the questions carefully and don't fall into the situation where you want to get rid of it. Then you know what happens? Tukka lagao, aage chalo. Tukka lagao, jaan chudao, aage chalo. So once this happens, then you will just go on and then you will be on the rampage you will play disaster with your reading test and at the end you say thank god i'm done with it so please relax calm down your emotional intelligence is very very important for ielts reading your feelings should be in control of you not that feelings are controlling you when feelings control you then you know sometimes people commit suicide they are controlled by the feelings. But when we control feelings, then people go to the moon also. Understand? That's the difference. So uh, now you just have to be with me. We are not having a competition. If you tell me the answer first, I will not give you any prize. I will give you a surprise. Okay, yes. And if you yell your answer, I mean, before I ask you and you yell your answer, uh, because of dollar prices and all that now the fine is 150 rupees last week it was 100 rupees okay so now it is 150 rupees just tell me the answer when I ask you you know what happens 
Now, look at her. She's looking so innocent. She is looking for the answer. And you suddenly say, cat, you'll stop doing all that. Okay? So, please respect. And uh, by the way, your facial expressions will tell me that you found the answer. When you don't find the answer, keep looking. Keep looking. Okay? Keep doing. I know you're looking for the answer. And once you find the answer, then sit like this. <laughs> and look here and there. Look at me. And I know, yes, you got the answer, okay? So this is how you got to say and don't shout the answer. And one more important thing, never whisper. When you read it here, never whisper. Because in actual exam, there will be pin drop silence and your whispering can be easily monitored by the invigilator. They will only give you one warning. And you know what will happen after that. Okay, just one warning. So please be careful. Uh, when you do reading, you develop certain habits and whispering is one of those habits. So this habit can be dangerous. Now, for example, you practice through whispering. Say, okay, first of all, I want to say this and then after that, I will just go on with that. And then there, they don't allow you for whispering and say, how will I manage? I did all my practice through whispering. So your mouth should be shut. Yeah, you can put some glue here uh, or anything like that. Now, without wasting any time, we go to the question and do it in a very relaxed manner. Please do not try to go ahead of me. That I'm reading the question and you find the answer and then you are sitting like this that I found the answer. You have to be with me, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Questions 1 to 4, complete the notes below. We understand it's notes completion. Uh, by the way, I've got Cambridge IELTS book number 15 academic. Right? This test is from Cambridge IELTS book number 15 academic. So, the nutmeg tree and fruit. Nutmeg is a spice. We commonly use it in our dishes and all that nutmeg powder. So the nutmeg tree and fruit. Now we understand these notes are about nutmeg tree and fruit. Listen up. In IELTS reading part one, mostly questions and answers are in the same order. So you don't have to worry. For example, you're doing this first four or five questions, the answers are going to be in order, one thing. Second thing is, uh, usually the first four or five questions, you can find the answers in the first one or two or three paragraphs. So, I mean, uh, a good start is half done. If you take a good start with good feelings, positive feelings and confidence, you can just move on. Okay, so we read the questions now. The leaves of the tree are dash in shape. Now look at me. The trees, uh, the tr leaves of the tree are dash in shape. Round in shape, square in shape, and all that. Okay? Now if we, you're going to kill me, huh? Yeah, I'm just feeling like a mosquito. So, uh, the leaves and then the shape. Now what you're going to do, you will go to first one or two paragraphs. You will look for leaves and then your focus should be on shapes. And, and they will not use the word shape. They will use the shape itself. Uh, we've got oval shape, round, circle. Uh, then we've got triangle and all that. So please go back. First paragraph. And when I ask you the answer, then you have to tell me. First paragraph. Clue word is leaves. Yeah, like. <laughs> Okay, got it? Good. There some heads are still down. Okay. All right, her head is down. Has she found the answer? Miss, have you found the answer? Yes. So then look up, huh? You're still looking down. I'm doing question number two, huh? All right, well done. What is the answer? Oval. Oval. Very good. Listen up. If you write the answer as over leaves, then you know what will happen? Yes, the right answer will be wrong. And then you say, I am 100% sure all my answers were correct. Then what happened? Check one word only. So with one word only, and by the way, leaves is already written. The word which is already written in the question can never be the answer. Very simple. Is that clear? Okay, we've taken a very good start. Question number two. The dash surrounds the fruit. Look here, look here. 
they will use a synonym for surround you can do it later just wait now we are only reading the question so just focus the question the dash surrounds the fruit and breaks open when the fruit is ripe now what is it that is around the fruit surrounds the fruit go back same paragraph read ahead and you will find the answer and if you can pay 150 rupees then yell the answer otherwise be quiet same first paragraph yeah and for surround they have used the word encased encased means like it's all covered and all that so the fruit is encased in a fleshy husk, husk. what is the answer husk. fleshy husk no. miss fleshy husk yeah why not yes that's right exactly okay well done very good let's move on question number three she couldn't find the answer so why don't you tell her there please tell her where is the answer say at the week got it got it Okay, now we do question number three. The dash is used to produce the spice nutmeg. Now look here. Uh, instead of blank, if you put the word what, turn it into a question. Whenever we've got fill in the blanks, try to turn it into a question. It will be easier for you to find the answer. Now, what is used to produce the spice nutmeg? what is used go back to the same paragraph right so and see what is used to produce the spice nutmeg So the answer is given like in, we call one thing referencing. They give a word first, then they explain and then they link with that word that came a couple of sentences before. Take your time. Okay, what's the answer? Seed. There? Okay, let's go back. We do it together. First paragraph, please. It is mentioned there, uh, when the fruit is ripe, this husk splits into two halves along a ridge running the length of the fruit. Inside is a purple brown shiny seed, two to three centimeter long by about two centimeter across, surrounded by uh, I see red or crimson covering called an aril. Now seed contains that thing. These are the sources. These means actually all these things. But these things are where? In the seed. These are, aril is actually the part of the seed. Okay. So they say these are the sources of two spices, nutmeg and mace. Then read on. Uh, but that is for the next question so for this question only now the question says dash is used to produce the spice nutmeg so the answer is seed okay let's move on please question number four the covering known as the aril is used to produce go back to the same sentence the answer is there. Don't be overjoyed. When I ask you the answer, then tell me. The covering known as the aril is used to produce dash.
they have given two things they say called an aril these are the sources of the two spices nutmeg and mace the former being produced from the dried seed and the letter from the aril so what's the answer uh, by the way the answer to question number three is here yes, sir. Yes, yes it is actually here very very clearly right. given here they said these uh, are the sources of the two spices nutmeg and mace former what does that mean Possibly. former means Possibly. yeah earlier one so which one is that nutmeg, nutmeg. Okay, so instead of former, just read nutmeg being produced from dried seed. So seed is for question number three. Exactly. And then they say, and the letter. What is letter? Mace. Letter from the aril. So what is question number four? The covering known as the aril is used to produce mace. Clear? So three and four, the answers are here. Is that clear? And by the way, first four questions or first five questions or first three questions should be done quickly but confidently and they will give you very positive feelings and uh, you know there are certain things which are released into the body they give you feeling of excitement and feeling of confidence and this can help you to go on throughout the test right okay